Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Speedy B Adapter 3. Speedy B sent this to me and let's see what's inside. What is the Adapter 3? We have our little app download thing. You can scan that with your phone. I scanned it and it took me to the Adapter 2 manual, so not sure how helpful that's going to be. But that doesn't matter. What we really want to see is this little guy right here. What even is this? So what this is, this is an adapter that you can use to plug into your flight controller with the included cable right here. And this allows you to use the Speedy B app on your phone. So you do need to have a, a smartphone with a Speedy B app to use this, but this allows you to access your flight controller configurator, uh, usually beta flight. So this is really cool. They have some huge improvements over the Speedy B adapter 2. This is the Speedy B adapter 2 right here. This is the Speedy B adapter 3. You'll see this one has a screen. So here's how this works. Let me let's just cut to the chase here. Actually, let's cut to the chase even more. This looks like a really cool addition to your flight bag. And um, it's not super cheap. It's $35 or thereabouts. But what's really cool is it is a battery checker. It has a USB output so you can charge like your phone or whatever else. And you can basically use your LiPo pack as a battery bank. Um, and then it has a uh, PH2 connector input like for a uh, tiny whoop style uh, micro drone batteries. And then an XT60 for your standard batteries. It has a USB-C uh, output or input as well as a micro USB output or input. So that's really cool because on their previous model, um, it was just micro USB and actually one of these, one of these connectors didn't even do anything. It was just a dummy connector. So that was, uh, that was pretty, pretty darn silly. I have a review on the old one, but that doesn't really matter now because there's the new one. We can use either micro USB or USB-C to connect to our flight controller, which is super sweet. So like in this case, this is USB-C. So I'll take the micro USB, connect it to the Speedy B Adapter 3. I will connect this one to the flight controller. And then I can just take the battery pack that's even connected to the quad, or not connected, but it's attached to the quad. And I can just plug this right in here and shabuamo this little screen lights up, so it will tell me the voltage of the battery. Now, it won't tell you the cell voltage of the battery, so, you know, it's not going to be the most accurate, but it will tell you at least, like, oh, is this a fresh battery or is it not, so that we're about 23.2 volts. So, you know, we're kind of getting down there. This is a six-cell battery. This takes up to six cells. And what's cool, so now that we have this connected, you can see we have some... Can you see that? You should see some blinky lights. Aha. All right. So I was just having a little trouble connecting this here. It seems like the connection is a little loose. Um, it could be this flight controller USB-C port. So it wasn't turning on, but now you can see now it's on. We've got the blinky lights on the flight controller. So the flight controller is powered on. So on the screen there, it is, uh, you see that little red blink and that's showing a uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And it's saying like, hey, I'm trying to connect, but I'm not connecting to anything. So now we get our phone ski and we get the Speedy B app right here. Open that up. And for some reason, they show you an ad for a product that you probably already bought because you're using the Speedy B app. Speedy B, please don't do that. Don't show me a, an ad for something that I probably just paid you money for. Anyway, uh, so now what we can do is click on the Bluetooth because you use Bluetooth to connect to the uh, firmware configurator and then you'll use Wi-Fi if you wanna do, um, if you wanna do like the uh, 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 black box analyzer, which you can do on here, which is pretty cool. But let's go back to just the main screen here. So we'll cl click the Bluetooth and we'll say yes, turn on the Bluetooth. So it, now it has found the adapter. We'll click connect. And there we go. And now we are in the configurator. So uh, this is basically just like Betaflight in terms of like the layout. And it's, it's just like the Betaflight app. It's a little different, a little sty style wise, but basically everything's in the same place. So you can see now this little, this little guy on the screen, this little graphic, is moving with our quad. So we have a connection. So you can do, you know, all the stuff you'd normally do. You can mess with the ports. You can go in the, to the ports tab. You can change stuff up. Um, this little button right down here at the bottom of the screen that will expand this sidebar to show you what those little symbols mean. 
and then you can just drop it down so you get the full view. You can uh, go to the configuration settings. You can change all this stuff. You can change the, the motor direction. Uh, you could change the, I mean, just everything you can do in Betaflight. You can do it right here. So that's super cool, especially it's going to be mostly useful, um, I think, for uh, rates, which is actually right here. Yeah. So you could change your PIDs or your rates to so say you're, you know, you're trying to find some good rates and then you want to switch it up. You can just plug into here. Take a look at this. You've got your whole your graph and everything. You can change things up, change whatever you want. And then, you know, hit save. I'm going to save it. And then you can just hit disconnect. Uh, also, keep in mind up here at the top, just in case this changes, uh, I think expert mode is standard, but um, at the top, there's a little button where you can uh, switch between easy mode and expert mode. And um, it's possible that if, if things aren't showing up, you might be on easy mode. But I think it's default expert mode. Anyway, so there's that. Yeah, it's like that's basically all there is to it. Um, and then you can also do some other things. You can do black box analyzer. You can flash the flight controller firmware. That's going to use Wi-Fi also. Uh, you can update the camera firmware. And that's going to be like if it's a run cam camera. Um, and then you can also do the BL Heli S configurator um, through here. So that's pretty cool because then you can change the direction, motor direction on your ESCs and other stuff like that. Um, but that is, uh, there is also an app, like a standalone app that you can get, um, at least on Android. I don't know about iPhone, but anyway, but this is kind of cool because it's all like in one place. And just so you know, if you do use just an OTG cable, so if you don't use an adapter, uh, the SpeedyB Adapter 3, you can use this app with an OTG cable. And OTG stands for On The Go. And basically, it's it's uh, an adapter that allows your uh, phone to control the flight controller, um, as opposed to typically when you plug something in to your phone, your the thing is controlling your phone. Something, something along those lines. I probably didn't explain that very well. But the point is, you'd want to find an OTG adapter if you wanted to connect your phone directly to your flight controller to use this app with like a direct connection instead of the Bluetooth like we're using here. And just to give another example here, this quad uses a micro uh, USB connector on the flight controller. All I have to do is swap these cables around. So we'll just take the USB-C, plug that into the adapter, and then we take out our micro USB, plug that into the flight controller, like so and then we can take our flight pack and plug that into the adapter and then it lights up so we get our battery voltage which is cool and then we should have some lights there we go we have some lights on the flight controller showing that we are connected another thing that they have here that you can do is you can click on the bluetooth thing and then uh It'll, it'll pop up this little uh, screen and then you click on the lightning bolt icon and it brings you to this sort of like power charging screen. So if I get a USB cable, this is a USB A to USB C, I can just plug this in right here to the, uh oh, did I lose it? See, I lost the connection when I, when I moved the adapter here. So I'm not liking that, but again, it probably is my flight controller interface because there's quite a bit of wiggle at the uh, at the flight controller connector. Anyway, um, but if you are experiencing that with your SpeedyB, let us know in the comments down below because that might be something that they need to fix. Anyway, plug that in here on the side. And then we're on the Adapter 3 Charging Viewer screen. And so right now nothing's happening because we're not charging. But when I plug in my phone... Ooh! So that's pretty neat. So it gives you gives you the information. It gives you the current, the voltage, the charging power. Um, and then it, it gives you some different options here. So you can set a battery alarm uh, voltage. So that is actually kind of useful. So on this cell checker, you can make it alarm at different um, voltages. Now, again, it won't display the individual cell voltage because it's not connected to each cell. It's just connected to the main output. But once the main output voltage gets to uh, at or below whatever it would be for 3.7 volts per cell, then it will cause an alarm to happen. Dang, it disconnected again. 
That is kind of annoying, I must say. So just as a test here, let's set the battery alarm voltage as high as we can to 3.9 volts. Let's hit save. We're not, oh, there we go. Now we got a little alarm. So that's the alarm there. So if it's low voltage, past a certain voltage that you set for each cell, then that is the alarm that you will get. So that's at least kind of like a, it's kind of like a, you know, go, no go uh, voltage gauge. So let's set that back to like 3.7. We'll click save. There we go. So then you can also change whether it displays the input voltage, which right now it is, or we can change that to the charging power. If We click save. So it changes that to the wattage that you're using to charge your device. But I don't really care about that. I care more about the input voltage. We can also hide the voltage in this little voltage, this little uh, white voltage in icon. We can hide that, which I don't know why you would, but it's, that's an option. And then we can also do a clean charging mode where it gets rid of the, uh, basically the screen other than the charging indicator. It gets rid of all the other information on the screen. Again, I'm not sure if that's very useful. I don't know if that takes up much power, but you can do it if you want. And then we have external voltage scale. I'm, I'm not sure actually what that does other than, uh, mess with the way that it measures the voltage. So I'm just going to leave that as it is right now. Now, in terms of charging your phone, this is still going to deplete your LiPo batteries. So you're still making that sacrifice of taking power from your battery, but you know, maybe your phone's going to die and you don't want it to. So it's more important to take some, you know, juice from your battery, from your LiPo battery pack and put it in your phone, in which case this is super duper convenient. And one more very important point, I don't think there is a low voltage shutoff for your LiPo battery. So if you leave this connected to your phone, it could potentially drain your LiPo battery too far. I have not seen anywhere in the manual where it says that it will shut off the power if the voltage gets too low. So keep that in mind and always be around when you're charging your phone to make sure that the voltage doesn't get too low on your LiPo battery. Really, I think that SpeedyBee did a fantastic job improving this one. I'm very excited about that. And again, thanks to SpeedyBee for sending this to me. So if you want to check this out, I'll have links down in the description of this video. Thanks for watching everybody. Leave a comment with uh, your thoughts on this or if you have one, if you like it, um, that type of thing. Again, there are other options. You don't have to buy this. Um, you can use like an OTG cable uh, to do a direct connection to your flight controller, but I think this could be a, uh, a very um, uh, nice package with Many different options for you. There you go, folks. Speedy B Adapter 3. Thanks for watching. Keep on flying. Stay cool. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.